All right, so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to play some really nice R&B chords. Uh, I'm gonna be getting into some of the techniques, some of the patterns that are commonly used in um, R&B, and just like the general thought process of what I think about when I try and like play in the style of R&B or like soul. So I'm going to be playing in the key of A5 major. And we're going to start off with this really nice A5 major 7 chord with the third on top. Right? And from here, we could do a couple of different things, right? A very commonly used chord, uh, chord progression in R&B is an A5 major 7 or like a major 7 chord going to a minor 9 chord uh, half step below, right? And even if it's not in the key, it still sounds really nice because of how like just like dissonant and lush the voicing sounds, right? Like even if you play it up here, it still sounds really nice. So another way you could go about it is from this major seven chord is you could also go instead of the minor chord, you could go to the dominant chord, and it'll sound also just as like sound also just as nice too right even though it's not in the key again right so common commonly used in r&b going down the scale and just using either the minor nine or the dominant seven chord Ooh, what the fuck didn't mean to play that my bad another common thing you'll see is uh instead of going down you'll go up to this C minor 9 chord, right? Which is just traveling up to the 3rd. And it sounds really nice, right? Because it's just like generally traveling up 3rds, either if it's minor or like major, it sounds really good. Like just traveling up diatonic 3rds, or not even diatonic 3rds, just traveling up the... Uh, thirds right there it sounds really nice and really hip right all right so another thing you could do instead of just like sitting on this a5 major seven chord or like the one chord you could also go up to the fourth which is in this case would be a d5 major seven chord right and from here you could do a lot of different things right very commonly used you could go d5 major seven c dominant seven right which is just a a uh, major four or a four major chord going to a dominant three chord, right? Very commonly used in like soul music, like yeah, you know that one, or like uh, what else is there? Something like that, right? And here's another very cool like uh, chord, right? So instead of going from the D flat to the C, you could go D flat to the D7 chord. And this is a very strange sound. Right? But it sounds really nice. It sounds really nice just like Maybe not played like that, but like it's just a very nice, very nice chord. And the reason why is because it's a tritone away from A flat, right? So it resolves very nicely to it. And the voice leading that occurs when you play D7 to A flat sounds really nice too. Look, it's very, it's very nice. So look, so like this A flat going, to, or not the A flat, this this A going to the A flat. This D going to the E flat and this like F sharp G flat going to the G, all half steps away, right? So you can play. And it'll sound super nice, right? We could also go from the D flat, C, A flat to this G7 
seven, which will also travel back to the B flat because of the tritone thing. So utilizing all the techniques I showed you, right? So using G minor nines traveling down, right? Or traveling up by thirds. Or like the tritone. Resolution, right? You can make some pretty gnarly sounding uh, R&B R&B chord progressions. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't know how like structured it'll be but i hope you guys gain something from it i hope you guys learn something from it and if you enjoyed please like subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials well i only have one up right now but i'll have more so be on the lookout for more future ones uh the next one will be i think like how to make neurohop or some shit but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and peace